simple, compound, and complex sentences. Effective speakers and writers use different sentence types when they communicate their ideas to others. Varying the kinds of sentences we use is an important and useful skill. Sentence types. Using a variety of sentence types allows us to express a range of ideas in our speeches and presentations. Three main types of sentences that we can use to add variety to our speaking and writing include simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. Simple sentences. A simple sentence is one independent clause that makes sense by itself. It may have additional phrases that complete an idea. I listen to the radio on my way to work. In this sentence, we have one subject, I, and one verb, listen. Together, they make up an independent clause. However, saying I listen is not a complete idea. In order for this sentence to express a complete idea, we add more information. Together, the independent clause and the extra information make up a simple sentence. Compound sentences. A compound sentence is made up of two independent clauses that are joined by a coordinating conjunction. We add a comma before the conjunction. English has seven coordinating conjunctions. They are and, but, so, for, or, yet, and nor. We can use coordinating conjunctions to show different relationships between ideas. Read these sentences. What relationships do and and but show? We use and to show we are giving extra or additional information. We use but to indicate contrasting information. Read these sentences. What relationships do or and so show? We use or to show a choice or an alternative. We use so to indicate a result or an effect. Read these sentences. What relationships do for and yet show? We use for to give a reason. We use yet to indicate a surprising contrast. Combine each pair of sentences with but, or, so, or for. We felt tired, for we had walked all day in the sun. I would love to buy a new car. But I need to save money first. The company did well last year, so everyone received a bonus. We can meet face to face, or we could chat online. Complex sentences. A complex sentence contains an independent clause and a dependent clause. We use a subordinating conjunction to join the clauses. The whole audience applauded when the show ended. This sentence has an independent clause with a subject, the whole audience. It has a verb, applauded. This clause can stand alone as a complete idea. The sentence also has a dependent clause, when the show ended. This is not a complete idea by itself. This is because it uses the conjunction when. When is a subordinating conjunction. Using a subordinating conjunction creates a dependent clause. A dependent clause is always connected to an independent clause, and together they make a complex sentence. 
subordinating conjunctions generally show three main kinds of relationships between ideas. Many subordinating conjunctions show time relationships. Examples include before, after, and when. Other subordinating conjunctions show cause and effect relationships, such as because, since, if, and unless. Finally, we can use several subordinating conjunctions to contrast ideas. These include although, even though, and while. When we use a subordinating conjunction at the beginning of a sentence, we put a comma between the two clauses. When the subordinating conjunction is in the middle of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Recognizing sentence types. Read each sentence. Is the sentence simple, compound, or complex? The first sentence is compound because it has two subject verb combinations that are combined with the coordinating conjunction and. The second sentence is a simple sentence. It has only one subject verb combination. The last sentence is complex. It has a dependent clause, after we crossed the bridge, and an independent clause. We went shopping in the old historic district. Notice that after is at the beginning of the sentence, so there is also a comma between the two clauses.